at these freaking girls. Stop playing with Wiggins. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are back with another video. We are here with Wiggins hair, and y'all know me and Wiggins are like this. In here are the good. Here is the wig. This is a 13 by 4, 20 inch lace frontal wig, HD lace, undetectable. Um, it says skin melt transparent, and the cap size is a medium. Yes, I'm so glad it's styled. As you guys can see, y'all see those curls. <laughs> yeah, let's get into this hairline. Okay. Not the hairline being laid, okay? It looks laid. Knots are super duper bleached. Oh, look at these curls. This is 20, did I say it was 20 inches? 20 inches, okay. Right up my eye. I, I fell back in love with wig and saws for the simple fact they just making it so easy. Like, look at this freaking hairline. Do y'all see this? <laughs> these companies is coming with it. Sis, what you need to learn how to pluck for? You don't need to, okay? They already did it. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand, as you guys can see. So this is the overall construction of the wig. See how good that look? Look at that. Y'all can tell they bleached them not. It was not planned. So this is the elastic band that it has inside. It has the grippies on it. This just allows your wig to stay in place. This here is not going to move up and down. Without this grippy thing, it was moving. So it does have a comb right here as well and directly on the opposite side. Let's go ahead and take this little bonnet off. So, let's see this hairline. <laughs> Do y'all see this? Wiggins. Look at this. Y'all, uh, look how laid this is. Baby hairs for what? Look at these freaking curls. This unit, the hair, first of all, is so soft. Already comes with a middle part. So, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place. Um, bronzed palette in the shade tan and I'm just gonna sit, simply take the shade here and tap that on the inside of the lace I think I got this brush from Shein it's called mange 5992 this in there like that and I'm just gonna cover this whole entire lace I like to use my contour shade to tip my lace with it because I just feel like it blends better. This is what it looks like once the lace is fully covered. I feel like you should be fine wearing it glueless, probably minus the sides, because from everything to here is very secure. The ends, um, you may have to put just a little bit of lace spray on it to keep it down. We gotta make sure that is in the middle. I need a comb. I just wanna go in and just do a little bit of hot combing. We'll put a little wax just on the sides. Cause I don't feel like the middle needs it. And I'm gonna take and lay my hot comb at an angle just so this the back part can get up on that hair line. All right, y'all, I'm basically done. All right, so now we're gonna cut off this lace before I install it. Just make one big line in the center, and then I'm gonna make sure to create jagged edges up, down, up, down, up, down. But like I said, um, I cut close to the hairline because the less the lace, the better, in my personal opinion. I do not like leaving on a lot of lace. Then for the sides, I like to make a part directly around my ear. like such y'all see that that's how it's supposed to look around your ear okay 
So if it's not doing that, cut some more lace off if you need a little bit more room. I'm gonna pull this back. Using my finger to place the pro push the product back into the hairline. I like to work with the center of my head first and then take it around to the left or right. It is tacky. As you guys can see, my finger is getting fucked. <laughs> so it is time to pull that lace on down. So I'm just going to lift up on it, align it. Be sure not to stretch your lace too much because if you do, it's going to ripple. That's why I like to have the elastic band on too because the elastic band helps it lay properly in its place. Right now, what I do with my brush? Oh, here it is. Couldn't find my brush. I'm gonna tap some of this just on the lace to help it blend a little bit more. I'm gonna use some of this because I'm crunched for time. I'm pressed for time. use some more air I am gonna double band so I'm gonna use my elastic band from Amazon and then I'm gonna go on top with my Wiggins band all right so it's been five minutes exact and I thought about doing baby hairs but then I don't I, I don't know okay <laughs> let's get into it <laughs> it melted that's what I say. Sometimes that double band, especially if you wanna you wanna rush, double band is gonna melt everything together. So don't play with that double band. Don't play with that double band in that because it's gonna get you right every time. I don't think I'm gonna do no baby hair simply because crunch for time for one. Hi Sebastian. I should have defined my part first, but it's okay. Y'all see how good that look? That look. I love how the hairspray makes the teeth of the comb. It's like imprinted on the hairline. And it looks so good, y'all. So good. So, going in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. I'm going to mix these two shades together to define my middle part. I don't know. I'll be feeling like when I just use that one shade, it be looking too yellow. And I don't like that for me. So we're just gonna go in. Like that. My kiss temptation in the shade black and just have a more crispier part. I'm gonna put the comb here. I think I actually sprayed some of the part. I'm just gonna go back and clean it up lightly. I always like to blend out the line here because why do the, I don't like how it's starting to be blunt looking. So I just blend it out with my finger. So it won't look too unrealistic. So for the front, we're gonna add more hairspray on both sides. Ooh, I, don't, I don't know why I'm overusing the Sebastian spray today. burn myself and give myself a little bump a 
and we gonna detangle this with my brush. I should've used my comb, but I don't be liking my comb lately. And just brush everything. Look at these freaking girls. Stop playing with Wiggins. Y'all stop playing with Wiggins. Oh my goodness, these curls are so beautiful. <sighs> Y'all, how am I done my install already? Look at these beautiful curls. Stop playing, bro. I'm not trying to brush them out too much. Look, y'all, look at... Look at this. Look at this. So this is the end of the video as you guys see I did do a little bit of curling to the front I was trying to match this side with this side I was pressed for time so I didn't have a chance to plug in my curling arm versus my curling wand so I just did both sides the same way still cute okay so cute little vibe I actually have to be going out the door at this very moment so I'm gonna get myself together but I just wanted to say that I loved love love installing this unit super quick easy to install this is definitely beginner friendly because like I said, you don't have to do anything. I just took it out of the box and put it on my head. It came plucked, pre-bleached, middle part, styled, and all that stuff. And y'all know that's right up my alley. If the unit was just a little bit more fuller towards the top, it would have been a 10 out of 10. So I'm going to give it a 9 and a half just because that. I did get a little bit of shedding during detangling, but I have not fully washed or conditioned this hair. So I cannot thoroughly judge this unit. Like I said, out of the pack, it's super soft. These curls are soft. This hair is soft and silky, and I'm loving it. And I'm surprised the curls are still holding, being as though this unit is very soft and silky. So that was an A plus in my book as well. So yeah, I think that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I will leave the link directly to this unit in the description section below. And until my next video, your girl will see you later. Bye, guys.